In order to have a full experience of the pain, different areas of the brain need to be activated. In this video, I am going to tell you how the pain is perceived and what is the pain matrix theory. Welcome back to HM Learnings. I am Harshita, the creator of HM Learnings, where students come to clear their concept and to get the study material. Make sure that you have subscribed my channel. You can also follow HM Learnings on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We have also started uploading all our slides on website SlideShare. You can easily download and clip our slides from this website. So with this, we are going to start our today's video that is about the pain perception and uh, this is actually a video in the continuation of the uh, previous three videos that is about the pain so in the first video we have talked about the what is pain what is the definition of the pain the, what are the different types of the pain receptors then how the transduction of the pain stimulus happens into the action potential then we have seen in the next video what is hyperalgesia what are what is the mechanism underlining the hyperalgesia then we have also seen the pain pathways and why the pain is needing different pain pathways to be get transmitted from the periphery to the brain so this is actually the slide from the previous video only and I have said actually that we are going to continue the next video by starting from this slide only. So this slide is actually telling you that the pain, uh, the pain pathways are going to send their collaterals to the different areas of the brain which are not only in the cortex but also in the subcortical region and as well as in the brainstem. So, why the sensations are going to the different areas of the pain is actually forming the basis of the perception of the pain. So as we know that pain is a complex sensation and there are different aspects of the pain which need to be analyzed, which need to be encoded before experiencing a pain as a full sensation, as a full, as a whole I would say. So for that there are different pain pathways and these different pathways are going to different areas of the uh, of the brain and these different areas of the brain are analyzing the different aspects of the pain so pain matrix theories is actually explaining that only that a network of the brain structure that encodes the different aspects of the brain experience so basically there are different areas of the brain that needs to be activated for encoding the different aspects of the pain experience. So these are basically the assembles of the neurons, the group of the neurons that are connected with each other. The information is flowing between these circuits and they are actually analyzing the different aspects of the pain so that the so that the person is analyzing as a whole what is the pain. So what are the different aspects which is analyzed? So sensory discrimination like what is the sense, uh, what is the location of the pain, what is the intensity of the pain, what is the duration of the pain that is being done by the thalamus and the somatosensory cortex. The cognitive evaluation and the memory part, okay, you are able to remember the pain, the, um, the memory of the pain and that is because the memory is being stored, it, is, it has been consolidated and then it is being stored as well as the cognitive function how the attention how the decision making is going to be influenced by the pain it is going to be explained by this expert that the pathways of the pain they are going to send the collaterals even to the prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus and that is explaining the cognitive and the memory aspect of the pain then you have affective and the motivation aspect of the pain so how in response to pain your autonomic responses or your neuroendocrine responses occurs so that has been explained by the insula so insula has a it is basically you can say it is an area where the integration is going to be happen and that insula has a connection with the hypothalamus so by that because the pain pathways are going to send their collaterals to the insula also so insula is going to send the pathways the efferents to the hypothalamus and that is how in response to the pain you are going to receive the autonomic responses as well as the neuroendocrine responses. Similarly anterior cingulate cortex has a area as a part of a lymphic system. So emotions okay how if you are more emotional you are going to feel the pain more okay so that is how the experience of the pain is get modulated with respect to your motivational status with respect to your emotional status then the associative component so there are different modalities there are different modalities like the, there is visual 
sensation there is auditory sensation there is olfactory sensation all the sensations plus the pain they are going to be integrated in the posterior parietal cortex then you have modulation also so in the upcoming video you are going to see that there are certain descending pathways from the brain from the different regions of the brain that is going to modulate the degree of your perception of the pain so that is why because how that is possible because the fns of the ascending pathway they are they are sending the collaterals to the brain stem also particularly to the periquiral gray area so that is how they are related to the modulation of the pain so i think that you are clear with this slide that what is pain matrix theory it particularly it, it is stating that because pain is a complex sensation there are different aspects of the pain to make it encoded in order to feel the pain as a whole and because body is responding to the pain in this in the if in respect to the autonomic responses and the neuroendocrine responses as well as it affects your motivational uh, it is affecting your cognition it is affecting your decision making selection and many processes so that is mean explained by this pain matrix theory that the efferents which are coming from the ascending pathway they are sending the collaterals to different areas and these areas work together to give you a sensation of a pain as a whole so this is a diagram which is showing you the same thing that the sensation are coming from the spinal cord and the, this is going to the brain stem this is sending the collaterals to the many areas to the thalamus also then the thalamus is sensing to the somatosensory cortex particularly it is related to the discriminative aspect of the pain as well as their affective component like the prefrontal cortex anterior cingulate cortex insula basal ganglia hippocampus amygdala you can see here all these regions are interconnected with each other so they are the flow of the information between these areas their interconnection are going to analyze are going to encode and are going to make you feel what is a pain or giving you a conscious a conscious experience of it associated with the posterior parietal cortex so i think you are clear with the concept of the pain matrix and the pain perception so you can remember it as that pain matrix is sorry the pain perception is a complex process and that has been explained by a theory called as a pain matrix and the pain matrix says that there are different areas which are activated in order to code the different aspects of the pain so that you can feel pain as a whole so with this we are at the end of this video if you like this video please like share and comment do let me know in the comment section any suggestion you have or any other topic in which you have doubt and you want video on it and uh, please like our channel and subscribe to our channel follow us on our official pages till then keep learning